There is only one thing for sure in the 2017 Music City Bowl, and that is that the Wildcats are going to win. That's because both Kentucky and Northwestern use Wildcats as mascots. These are two teams who both had solid seasons, and this should be a fairly entertaining game. This will be the 17th bowl appearance for Kentucky who enters the game 8-8 eight eight all time in bowls. The Wildcats have lost their last three bowl games including last year when they fell to Georgia Tech in the Tax Slayer Bowl. Northwestern is in their 14th bowl game and they are 3-10 all time. This is their third straight season appearing in a postseason game, last year defeating Pittsburgh in the Pinstripe Bowl. Kentucky is led by head coach Mark Stoops who is in his fifth season as the coach of the Wildcats. His record at Kentucky is 24 and 31. Stoops has coached at USF, Miami, Florida State, and Arizona, among others, before taking the Kentucky job in 2013. His bowl record is 0 and 1. The Wildcats lost their last two games of the season and three of their last four. They gave up a combined total of 86 points in the last two games, falling to Georgia and Louisville. Kentucky is averaging 25.8 points per contest while allowing 28.6 per game. At the same time, they have matched up well in the running attack, gaining 120 yards more than they are giving up. They're giving up on average 83 yards per game more through the air than they are producing themselves. Kentucky has an outstanding running game thanks to Benny Snell Jr., who has gained 1,318 yards and scored 18 touchdowns this season. Snell is averaging 5.1 yards per carry and 109.8 yards per contest. He will need to be a dominant force in this game, keeping the Northwestern offense on the sidelines. The big playmaker on the Kentucky defense is Mike Edwards, who not only leads the team in tackles with 90, but also has four interceptions this season, which also leads the Wildcats. Josh Allen leads the team in sacks with seven and is closely followed by Denzel Ware, who has six and a half. Northwestern is led by head coach Pat Fitzgerald, who is in his 12th season with the Wildcats. Fitzgerald has an overall record of 86 and 65 and has led Northwestern to seven bowl games, earning a record of two and five. The Northwestern head coach is an alumni of the school and spent five years as an assistant before being named head coach. The Wildcats looked like they were in real trouble when the season began as they dropped three of their first five contests. However, they won their last seven games of the year, including a triple overtime victory over Michigan State and overtime wins over Iowa and Nebraska. The Wildcats are averaging 29.7 points per game while allowing 19.8. Justin Jackson is an impressive young running back who has gained 1,154 yards on the ground this season with nine touchdowns. He only has four and a half yards average per carry, but his 255 rushing attempts in 12 games tells us a lot about his character. He will battle for every yard and is not afraid to carry the ball 20 to 30 times a game look for Northwestern to use Jackson as a means to wear down the Kentucky defense. Speaking of defense, the Wildcats are led by Nate Hall, who was second on the team in tackles at 79, third in sacks with five, and also has two interceptions. When teams from the SEC and Big Ten get together in a bowl game, it is usually quite an affair, and there is no reason to believe that this battle between the Wildcats is going to be anything but a real cage match. Kentucky and Northwestern have excellent running games, and it would not be surprising to see each of these teams decide to try to grind it out and wear down their opposing defense. It's going to be the play-action pass game that's going to make the difference here, which favors Northwestern and quarterback Clayton Thorson. Look for Northwestern to win and cover the spread in a game that will be slightly over 51 points on the total. Click over now to BetDSI.com to get $100 free. When you sign up with the deposit today, you can get a 100% deposit bonus. That's $200 in betting action for just $100. Start making cash right now with NFL or NCAA football betting. BetDSI.com has all your favorite sports to bet on today.